Hello ladies and gentlemen, dinosaurs and prehistoric creatures and hybrids alike. Welcome to another Jurassic World Chaos Theory video because we have our first information on Season 2. That's right, we already knew Season 2 was on its way based on the confirmation thanks to information from the creators and also from the ending of Camp Cretaceous itself, with the campers making their way onto the boat that was seen at the end of the season, as well as the reveal of Brooklyn being alive. Which, spoiler alert if you haven't seen Chaos Theory, but there you go. It confirms it. And already we have a little bit of information on Season 2, as well as an expected release time for the second season and a few images, and a little snippet that gives us a bit of joy for one of the dinosaurs that I feel was very underutilized in the first season. So let's get into all of it right now. First, let's talk about the release date, as it has been confirmed that Season 2, much like how Camp Cretaceous had its first three seasons released in a very short time period, with only Season 4 and 5 being much more stretched out in their release time, the first three seasons were released roughly around three to four months apart. However, that is also the case for Chaos Theory Season 2, as it's not going to be a year, guys, we have to wait. Only a few months, as Season 2 is going to be releasing in the fall of this year. That's right, very, very soon, which is definitely exciting, guys. But we have more to talk about. The first thing is two images that we have, as well as a little clip. Which, the clip is the same as one of the images, so we'll talk about that first. The clip showcases the Sukumimus making a guaranteed return for Season 2, as it comes across a group of Stegosauruses in a different environment than we've seen in Jurassic, and there are rumors that the new Blars 5 will be going all the way to Africa, but it's not confirmed as of this moment, to my knowledge, so we don't know where this is, this might be somewhere else, but I'm glad to see that we're already getting confirmation that the Sukumimus is going to be having a little bit more screen time at least, and this time it's going to be facing off with some Stegosauruses, similar to how its relative Baryonyx also faced off with Stegosauruses, which also happened in Season 2, so that's kind of a weird pattern. But anyway, that's for the Sukumimus, and also the Sukumimus does look a little bit different from the one seen in the first season, I gotta say, but this actually looks really gorgeous. It looks kind of like the concept art for some of the older Jurassic projects, but I gotta say, it looks really beautiful, and I'm definitely excited to see more Sukumimus, as I feel it was very underutilized, as it's a species that, really, we've been waiting 10 years at this point to finally make its debut on screen for the canon of the franchise. Because we knew all the way back when Jurassic World was being promoted that it was part of Jurassic World, so it's kind of shocking that it still took us that this long to get it and the fact that all we got of it was it running around with a bunch of other dinosaurs didn't really help it get its moment. But I think this scene is already implying that we're going to be getting it a bigger moment than we already did, which for me is a absolute win. But we have two other little bits to talk about. The first is a second part of the clip, which showcases Darius, Yaz, and Sammy turning away and we're in the same environment as the Sukumimus portion of the clip, but there's not really too much to talk about here. We don't know who they're looking at. However, where it does get a little bit more interesting, I think, is a second image that we got, because the first image that we got for Chaos Theory Season 2 was that of the Sukumimus facing off with the Stegosauruses, but this second clip is actually much more intriguing as it showcases the five campers looking at someone with a shock prod, as seen in the previous season. However, we don't see who this figure is, but judging from their expressions of both seeming shock, but frustration, it might be either a villain or something that has caught them, or, in my opinion, judging from how some of the campers look, especially Kenji's expression, 
of betrayal kind of looking, I think that this might be the image that's promoting the reveal to the camp former campers of their missing Nublar member, Brooklyn, as it was revealed in the end of Season 2 in the little post credit scene, if you want to call it, basically. That was of Brooklyn being alive, although very different, as she is now missing one of her arms, as it was taken by a certain Allosaurus. So, yeah, she's not in the same state as it was. Also, I saw a weird theory that people thought she was the one who might be actually hunting the campers, which, if they did that, that would be kind of, like, really, really silly. But, it seems like this image might be promoting the reunification of the Nublar 6, although it won't be as happy as it was when Ben was revealed to the campers in Season 2 of Camp Cretaceous. But, guys, that is it for... The first bit of news for Chaos Theory Season 2, let me know your thoughts about it. What do you think of Season 1, by the way, now that it's been a couple of weeks since it came out? And what do you hope to see in Chaos Theory Season 2 and even beyond? I have loads of stuff that I want to talk about for Chaos Theory, and before it comes out for Season 2, I'll definitely be talking about much of it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Maybe liking, subscribing, and if you want to see more Jurassic World Chaos Theory stuff, Jurassic 7, and of course Jurassic World Evolution 2, and possibly even Jurassic World Evolution 3, or whatever the heck that game's going to be called, make sure you join the hunt, and stay safe out there, and remember that you are all amazing, never forget that, and until the next one, guys, enjoy yourself.